Hi guys, today we are going to talk about the contributions that every generation makes in the workplace. So it's going to be about you. So stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Karen McCullough and today I'm pretty excited because we're going to be talking about all of you. It's the contributions that every generation makes in the workplace today. I thought it would just be a quick rundown so that we can actually focus on the positive aspects of the generations rather than all the negativity that we hear right now. So let's just start. Gen Z. These are the kids born between 1997 and 2012. So maybe these are some of your kids out there, right? Uh, they entered the workplace in 2017, and the next year, 20% of the workforce in the U.S. is going to be Gen Z. So we better learn a little bit about them. Here's what we know right now. They are highly individualistic. It's a lot about themselves, and they're great working, but guess what? They like working alone. When we talk about the other generations in collaboration, we're going to have to really encourage this generation to be more collaborative. They're very tech savvy, they're fast learners, and they love answering their own questions with technology. So they refer to Google quite a bit. They're motivated, they are curious, and here's the greatest part. They are motivated by the Benjamins. <laughs> They're motivated by money. And they will work longer and harder if you give them incentive and a few bonuses. So we've got a new generation coming on that's motivated. Um, they're inspired by income and they want to work harder. So I look forward to seeing more of this generation in the workplace. So let's move on now. Next, we've got the millennials. Oh, come on. We've been talking about the millennials for 10 years, right? The millennials, people born between 1980 and 1996. This is the generation that has totally changed the workforce. So we thank you, millennials. You're highly collaborative. So you have brought about actually new workspaces, which encourage collaboration. You've changed the way we interact. You interact with social media and you've changed that for all of us, right? You brought about the focus of purpose in the workplace and you are really developing more of a community within the workplace. Here's the thing about you. You're tired of all the criticisms and you're tired of hearing about all the trophies. So now we're going to talk about Generation X. This is the generation that was born between 1965 and 1979. Yeah. This is the generation that we call the loners. This is the generation that we call highly independent. This is a generation that got to stay out late at night, ride their bikes around town until the street lights came on. This independence as kids is what they brought into the workplace with them. Sometimes we hear them called the latchkey kids. That came about by the boomers, which I'll talk about next, because these were the kids that usually came home where their mom was either working or volunteering somewhere, and they had a key to get into their house, and they were by themselves for a long time. So think about that. Being alone, being by yourself, highly independent generation. This is a generation that doesn't like to be micromanaged. They are individual thinkers. They have a strong work ethic. In fact, they will work long and hard. This is a generation that is highly creative and not afraid of new technologies. It's a generation where time is their currency. So in the workplace, they want to be the most efficient and use their time wisely. Okay, Boomer, you're next. Yeah, it's time for the baby Boomers who were born between 1946 and 1964. Boomers, you are the competitive ones. You brought to the workplace a strong work ethic and work, 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 work. And now you are having to go through all of the changes because the technology has changed the workplace. And for really boomers, we have to learn a lot of new things all the time. So be open, stay curious, and enjoy life. And for the rest of you, instead of focusing on what's negative with each generation, let's think of the things that they've brought into the workplace and the positiveness that they are changing the culture of work. Hey guys, it's Karen McCullough. Stay tuned for another Lesson from the Road.